This guide is for absolute beginners. If you have a clue about chance mark, this video is definitely not for you. I would like to share with you how to get some pretty cool trance mog items. I would like to note that you should sell items after each instance and the order that you do the instances doesn't actually matter. The first place you're going to want to go to is in the vanilla era and it's burning steps blackwing descent. The only thing I'm going to say about this instance is there is a lot of RP involved which means you're going to be standing around a lot and not doing a hell of a lot. I don't actually know how to do the last boss, but the way I did it, and <laughs> you're going to see, is I just hit Anixia with the lightning bolts until he came down and then killed him and that ended the, the instance. But I'm, I'm pretty sure normally you're supposed to kill the dragon in the pit as well. The next couple is going to be in the Burning Crusade era. This is what I normally do. I take the portal to Shatterath from the Stormwind portal area, and then I go to the Black Temple in Shadowmoon Valley. This has some RP, but it's... It's pretty much, it's pretty resin sleeper and easy to get through on your own. You don't really need to look at guides for this one. And then the next one is going to be Serpent Shrine Cavern. Uh, this isn't exactly a great one, but it does have some cool pieces, I think. In Zanga, This is in Zangamarsh. Uh, and the next one is going to be Gruul's Lair. This is in Blades Edge Mountains. And it's two bosses, so it's really, really simple again. And it has some decent drops. The next one is... And the last one for the Burning Crusade era is going to be the Eye. Uh, this one is going to be a, the one with the mount as well. So you have a chance to get a mount doing this one. Uh, it's a Phoenix mount. The only thing to note about this instance is there is a part which it may just pause for a couple minutes if you do it fast enough. Like it, when I did it, the I killed each individual one. Uh, I picked up the weapons. And then I normally get confused. I get this confused feeling like, why why can't I kill you yet? And then five minutes later, I'm allowed to actually start fighting him again. So I feel like in Burning Crusade, this happens quite a lot where you can kill one of these bosses basically with one hit and it has to do a certain stage. So you'd just be stood there waiting for it to do some sort of animation or something, which would have been cool back in the day, but now it's just an inconvenience. The next place is going to be Wrath of the Lich King era and it's gonna you're gonna have to take the portal again from the portal place in Stormwind and go to the go to Dalaran. Crystal Song Forest, not the one that you can you can half to. Order doesn't matter here, but this is the order I recommend. Ice Crown Citadel, obviously this is gonna be an Ice Crown. And the next one's gonna be Oldawa in the Storm Peaks. And the one after that is Naxxramas in Dragon Bite. Each one of these are a little bit harder to run by yourself. Not that you're going to die, but you might get stuck on a couple bosses. And if you do, I recommend you you just type in the boss's name and you watch a little quick video on how someone does it. All you have to do is read the journal and if you can make sense of the journal and what the boss does, then you probably won't get stuck. And you probably won't get stuck anyway, it's just a precaution, I'm just telling you. Because I did, I certainly did. Cataclysm. To get to the only Cataclysm instance I recommend doing, you have to take the portal to Mount Hindu, which is on the opposite side of the map in Stormwind, then go to the fire patch on the map. Now, this takes you to Firelands. Uh, I recommend that you just go around killing all the bosses, but you're going to have to come back to the middle and start clearing out some, some of that trash, because that makes the one of the final bosses that you need to kill. Spawn with the dogs, and they spawn by the gates. So as soon as you clear enough trash here, end up spawning, kill him, and then you got to kill two more guys, and then that's the end of the instance. That is all the ones I'm going to give you today. I think with these, if you do these every week, you can build up some pretty cool transmog pieces. Um, obviously, these are not the only items you can get in the game, but there's some pretty cool starter transmog pieces that can get you going and get you enjoying collecting transmog pieces. So I just want to say it's 3 p.m. Tuesday for the lockout time for the US and everywhere else. And EU, it's Wednesday at 7 a.m. Here is some of the transmog outfits I came up with on this new character of mine. Uh, I must admit, gearing a male character is pretty annoying because in the earlier instances, actually there isn't a lot of sh uh, shaman pieces. I think past vanilla, there is definitely a lot more uh, in, in obviously Burning Crusade and Rafa Lich King and even Cataclysm, but there's not quite as much as like other classes. The one I am equipped with right now is sort of like a work in progress. But this is sort of my favourite one I, I came up with. And it was the goal of, of today to come up with a cool chance mug. And then I thought, you know what? Why don't I just make it into a video? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, 
please hit the like button and leave a comment if you want me to try and help you out. I can I can answer any questions.